Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Solinux Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to uh, the occasional fetch updates that I'm doing. Um, yeah, wanted to do a full update. Wanted to give you my thoughts on it right now. I mean, in general, we, we haven't seen that much movement, so I'm not going to tell you that we'll see a massive bull run or, or, or a coming or, or something like that. It's not who I am, all right? You'll find uh, real analysis right here and, and no hype type shit. Uh, and there goes the monetization. Um, but no, we'll, we'll take a look at Fetch. I mean, in general, look, we're, we're getting towards... Um, I need to do some more reading about that, but obviously Fetch and Ajax and Ocean still have that massive uh, bullish catalyst coming, or at least I think it's bullish. You might have a different opinion on that, so that's still coming. And in general, Fetch, look, AI in crypto is still going to be huge. And the last time Fetch really rallied, apart from this fake out, was the 6th of March. So at some point of time... AI is going to do great again, all right? And Fetch is going to rally again, and you need to be prepared for that, all right? So I, at least personally, I believe uh, that you do need to be prepared for, for you know, what's coming and, and what's possible and those uh, those types of things. But all right, we'll do a full update. At this point of time, look, if you look at Fetch, like I said, not much is going on, all right? So the, the, the main thing that you need to know about Fetch right now um, is that right now on the short term the momentum is not really doing anything so the momentum last time we we had a big fake out or at least it was also a rally was at the end of march you can see if the if the momentum is actually moving a lot then you have volatility so then you have momentum so then there are possibilities but right now the momentum it's moving up and down but it's 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 not very volatile and that has to do with the fact that ai just at this point of time is not very booming anymore in crypto um, and Bitcoin has also, look, we had some bullish momentum over the last couple of days, uh, or at least over, over, over the weekend, etc. And that also helped fetch to, to test this resistance level right here. But there's not much, there's not that much momentum in the markets that we're going to see a bullish breakout on the short term. And then if you purely technically look at fetch, look, it, this level right here, around 2.95, has been the main resistance level for a long period of time. We got two fake outs above that, but mostly that has held. And then you look here at the bottom and you see this level right here between, ultimately like it's it, it's a very big level, right? So it's, it's this level between 2.5 um, right here, even a bit higher. And then this, this support level right here at like 2.3, that's our major support. So what we are doing right now is we're basically just consolidating in that area. Um, uh, because first of all, Fetch is a very strong crypto. That's the reason why we did not get a bearish breakout the 19th of March when Bitcoin did. But apart from that, even though Fetch is a strong crypto and not a lot of people are selling this, there's also not a lot of momentum behind this. There's also like the AI narrative. Like I said, it's not really doing anything. So the main thing to watch is for either 2.35 to break, which is a possibility. Like we can get a, a massive bearish breakout right here if Bitcoin turns very bearish. It's not what I expect, but it's it's a possibility. Or you need to wait for the AI narrative to pop off. I don't know, maybe OpenAI releases uh, Sora, and then we can actually get that bullish breakout, uh, breakout above 2.95, and then we will rally. Then we'll see a bull run up to 3.5, $4, who knows how high. So wait for the breakout, all right? And short term, what I expect, but that's mostly because of what I expect from Fetch on its own in combination with the markets, Short term, I expect Fetch to drop down a bit lower towards 2.5 and, and 2.4 because we have not hit 2.5 yet. Um, but I do expect us to find support there. Consolidate down there. And then once we get a little bit more bullish momentum in the markets, get back up to 2.5, uh, 2.8, uh, yeah, 2.8 and 2.85. Those are my thoughts. I don't expect a massive breakout yet. If I do expect that and I think if I think that's coming, I will tell you. But those are my thoughts. That's what I think you need to know for now. For now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.